Hello, welcome back guys. All right, another video testing the impressive Yuzu emulator switch emulator for Android. In front of me, uh, four device with uh, consider older high end SOC Snapdragon 845. 855 and 860 860 the latest one so Xperia XZ2 4 GB of RAM Snapdragon 845 Poco F1 6 GB of RAM Snapdragon 845 LG B50 Snapdragon 855 6 GB of RAM and the last one POCO X3 Pro 8 GB of RAM so before I begin let me note 8 Pro alright and uh, low end device 4 GB of RAM let me note 8 alright 4 GB of RAM I'm using the pet version the pet and the free version are identical at the moment maybe in the future I don't know they will change it so let me check for update first you so update when you update the the game loading when let's see when the cutscene kicks in then the RAM are out not enough RAM I hope it's booting I hope so MediaTek this is what you get No compatible GPU driver for MediaTek at the moment. You can use the Skyline. Maybe someday the emulator will support some other SOC. So for GB Snapdragon 665 for close. For 660, even older GPU, older, very old, 660. See? System. GPU driver Let me not 7 Nope Sorry Alright, let's begin with the 845 4GB of RAM Setting Play around with the setting. Maybe you can get the decent speed at 540. On PC, default using mailbox. On PC, that one uh, X86 CPU architecture on ARM. Well, I'm not sure. So, which one better? Leave it default. 
this is the default setting play around with it don't be scared but the most important the GPU driver alright let's begin Legend of Zelda when you update the app the emulator the config file for the touch screen will be overwrite by the latest update so it disappear actually so you have to reset the overlay over here reset see back in action now they fix the what you call that one my previous video on the redmi note 8 the rotate screen uh, wrongly rendered yesterday 4gb of ram Snapdragon 845 running at 540p. Actually, 4GB is not enough for this game. Recommended 8GB, see? At least 6GB. 6. 6 also depend on your usage. If you got a lot of app inside your android system maybe it's not enough also this is a custom rom with less blood where if you use the the system that provide by the, the company whatever company you buy the phone a lot of blood where and a lot of junk file in the dynamic library dll and dll 64 so advanced setting same setting system graphic let's try this one second one 540 of 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 eyeliner and the driver 61537 link for the driver in the description also after updating reset your overlay you can adjust back the opacity resize the overlay size to your liking what the hell second try actually it put on poco f1 sometime the shadows crash when it tried to compile or read the already compiled shadows shadows when it read back sometimes the file uh, corrupt for whatever reason if you want it pre-compiled back Right. Tata. EA early access. The other one, the emu one, the free one. So, cash is nothing here. The shadows, shadows. The Balkan pipeline. This one is again. This is this is the one. Did it both. 
I want it to recompile back a new shaders for Balkan pipeline not the oil pipeline Eight four five, six GB of RAM. Actually, it recompiling back the shaders and write it to the folder in the shaders folder in the Yuzu folder. When you relaunch back the game, it reload the shaders. When you change driver, there's the conflict. It recompile back the shaders according to the GPU driver that are using. You are using. So you know it's okay. You know what to do when it crash. Delete the older shaders. I mean FPS using the what is now 540 540 or the lowest one 360 on chicken egg NS the Poco F1 FPS around 15 10 to 15 FPS on the first start of the game when you reduce the resolution scaling you see the graphic not rendered properly all the wall the background it's become black seventy three degree Let's try um, using the original scaling of this uh, of the game at 720p. Does it affect the graphic? Just now we reduced the scaling resolution at the lowest. Now at default, 720 or 1080p when you switch to dock mode. See, when it read back the shadows, shouldn't be a problem. Eh, problem also. That's why when it crash sometime the read and write speed of the storage the UFS sometimes the file are corrupt relaunch I'm sorry if the video are too long I will give a timeline on each device they like this so you know what to do what to file manage 
and write data user in a file shaders delete this one this is the game folder right what the this one for c zero 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 what is that game Oh, still running at the background. Hmm. When I delete the shadows just now. Not that game. This is the one. Sorry. At the moment, speed of the game not so impressive on the low high-end CPU such as H45. Hmm, what's wrong with it? All right, next one. Play around with the uh, setting LG B50, same setting also 61527 graphic 50 Poco Let's just take the scaling Just the shadows, 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 shadows Let's try the lowest one See Even the B50 Crash Sometimes the, the culprit are the drivers. This are the drivers. One, five. Five, zero. So you will see it recompile back the game. See? Can you change driver? The shaders will be recompiled. Yep. That's, that's the problem with the LGB50. Maybe I have to switch back to the stock LGUI because lack of uh, dynamic library for some of the Vulcan to render properly on the Poco. See what the hell when you reduce the reduce the scaling. Okay, let's try same setting as Poco. Oh, Poco X3 Pro, that one, no problem. Nope. LG. Sometime when it happened like this because of the driver. But the FPS really improved. Glitch, see the glitch. 
change the driver try other driver get which one work best for your device doesn't mean the driver that I use will work on your device even though you got the same device as mine CPU driver 61550 setting this is the POCO X3 Pro Snapdragon at 60 running at default resolution for the switch game this one no problem running at one time resolution of the switch game that's why I recommended the lowest SOC for switch game especially the 3D game the demanding game the triple A game you need a um, powerful CPU and more RAM this one is 8 GB of RAM Snapdragon 860 For the simple game, you can use the low end, the 2D game, this one no problem, but the uh, latest demanding game must get a good spec device in order to render the graphic properly and have a good decent FPS on the game even though the FPS same as POCO just now POCO F1 this one running at 1x just now the POCO are reduced you see the the graphic just now on POCO the, the wall the stone there are black when it rendered at one egg, all the graphics are perfect. But when you reduce it, maybe you have to use the top mod. Who knows? Play around with setting. So on Poco X3 Pro, not a problem. That's why the user team recommended at 6.5, the lowest. For me, at 6.0. Right? What happened? What happened? Suddenly crash. Let's try. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Reduce the scaling, you will see the glitch. That, that's why when I am testing on the Red Magic 7 on the first video of this uh, TOTK, the scaling uh, on 540p. No wonder the graphic glitch on that game. Running at one egg, the graphic uh, much perfect. But the best thing, use the game patch. Get the game patch and copy it to your user folder in the lot folder for the game page don't reduce the scaling resolution use the game page use the whatever page that can 
reduce the scaling of the game maybe you can get a good speed with the perfect graphic rather than reduce the see background there not very visible not much different the FPS Now you know the drill. Use at one egg. Use the custom patch, game patch. Where to where to copy the cache, the game patch. Go you go to your internal storage. Android. Data. White. Data. What? It's empty over here because no permission for this uh, file manager to read the system file. Right, I said thank you for watching. We'll be back with more video on low end device. I will be testing the Naruto Shippuden. That's one. Uh, playable but the speed compared to the skyline maybe less but the graphic list is less than the skyline and stay tuned and once again thank you for watching